Hello, dear Toastmasters. Have you heard about SMART goals? Yes. Yes? It's a very popular thing. And uh, raise your hands, those of you who uses it. Uh huh. Okay, quite. I expected more. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, I'm a big fan of these SMART goals. I believe that it's very effective. Uh, but mm, using it from the age of 16 uh, for setting my annual goals, I noticed one thing, that it's not very emotional. It doesn't it's inspire me. It doesn't motivate me. And uh, I thought, why, why does it happen? Then I read again my goals, and uh, I just read a, a phrase: "Learn 100 words in Spanish till July." Too boring, not inspiring at all. And I thought, well, if I uh, just imagined a picture in my head that I go to Spain, speak to Spanish people meet new people, etc. That will be much more inspiring than just just uh, just this uh, 100 words in Spanish. Uh, and uh, I want to share with you uh, a story from my Toastmasters life. About a year ago, I joined Toastmasters World Surfers Club and I decided to, that I will that I will develop myself in two directions. Firstly, leadership development, and secondly, public speaking skills. So it's obvious for just masters. And for uh, leadership development, I thought, well, that will be great if I become a president. That was my thought a year ago. And my second thought about public speaking was, well, I want to win the contest, the speech contest in the club. That was my second goal. Uh, and uh, that goal was, they were very inspiring. But I didn't read, uh, uh, wrote them down. I didn't uh, <coughs> make a uh, map, uh, map with my goals, etc. It wasn't measurable, it wasn't time bound, it wasn't uh, specific, no, nothing. It wasn't smart, but it was effective. Uh, because these goals were always in my head. And when uh, Diana, current president of this club, offered me, uh, Sonia, uh, do you want to become vice president of education in this club? I said, yes. Uh, and uh, next time I was offered, Sonia, do you want to take part in a competition? I said, yes, uh, because that was connected with my goals that I had in my mind, that was, they were really inspiring. And uh, uh, I believe that um, it doesn't matter what you choose, smart goals or not smart goals. Uh, it's about you, how you react and how you, um, what do you feel about these goals, about accomplishing these goals? Uh, and uh, honestly, when I was offered to become a president of this club, I was like a little bit shocked. And uh, I said, uh, no, no, Diana, this time, no. Thank you. Uh, but why did it happen? It happened because on the, other, on the, on the one hand, I uh, knew that it's a wonderful leadership experience. It, uh, it's something that I haven't tried yet. Uh, it's an opportunity to be part of a team. And it's an opportunity to challenge yourself. But on the other hand, it's fear. Fear of, uh, of responsibility, of something else. Uh, but I really, uh, want to tell you one thing. Don't hesitate to accomplish your goals. If something, if somebody of you are thinking about joining a committee 
of a new business club or, a new, or a, a word surfers club, don't hesitate to come to Kate or to me or to Diana and say yes. Yes, I want to challenge myself.